the game where knowledge is king and lady luck is queen. It's the Joker's Wild. And now, here's the host of the show, Bill Cohen. Thank you. Thank you for coming by to see us, and thank you for tuning us in at home. Mr. Joker's Wild, I know you know that because Charlie just told you. Speaking of that, Charlie is a veritable fountain of information. So, Charlie, if you would, bring on our players, please. Well, Bill, he's the first hour challenger, a seminary student, and a spelunker, John Ivanov. And our current champion, he's a gold prospector whose interests include astronomy and winemaking, whose winnings total in cash, $1,300, Stephen Gale. players there. We are very happy to have both of you with us. Stephen Gale and John Ivanoff. Uh, John, I know a little bit about you so far. You're a, a spelunker, did Charlie say, and a seminary student. That's correct. And uh, you, you're on the last show. Uh, you told us about the spelunker. Tell us about the seminary student. Where do you do that? Well, I'm in a seminary in Westchester County in New York. It's called St. Vladimir's Orthodox Seminary, and uh -huh. I'm entering my third year. And hopefully next year, God willing, I'll be entering, entering the uh, priesthood. I hope, I hope you will, and I wish you well, John, in your career. Now, there are, I bet, I bet there, there are three or four people watching us at the moment who are not familiar with the word spelunker. Of course, I know what it is. It's woodwork. But uh, <laughs> tell the folks about what spelunking is, John. Well, one who spelunks, Bill, uh, huh? goes down into the earth in caverns and in caves and moves around inside tunnels, uh, and just explores things underground. And uh -huh. one finds waterfalls and lakes and underground streams and beautiful rock formations. And it's really an adventure to kind of do this kind of thing. Some of those caves, I understand, are beautiful down there. They are. Get your feet wet down there, too. A little bit of that, too. Say you're involved in another adventure here with our gold prospector, Stephen Gale. Hello, Steve. Hi. Happy to have you with us. How'd you become interested in gold prospecting? Well, I was working as an engineer for a while, and I decided that I needed something a little bit out of the ordinary to do. And did you, did you find something a little more out of the ordinary? Was that it? Yes, that was, uh, it was very out of the ordinary, very different from engineering. And how, tell everybody how much so far you've netted in your gold prospect. <laughs> well, I've been working at it for three months, and I've made $20. How do you like that, Fred? <laughs> 20 bucks in three months. You know what's interesting? You've only been with us here for two days, and you've won $1,300 in cash. So you're doing all right. So there you are. Stephen, Stephen has $1,300 going for him already. The score when we stopped was 200 for Stephen, and John had $50. And I'm about ready to start the game, so let me move aside, gentlemen. Give you another look at the categories we were playing with when time was called. All about languages, female vocalists, unlikely pairs, American cities, and how low will you go. There you bid on how little information you need to answer a question. Okay, John, when we left off, you had 50, and Stephen had 200. And, John, as usual, you're going to make the first spin. Before you begin, let me remind you about our natural triple jackpot. Anytime get, anyone gets three categories the same across the board, we stop right there and give them everything in our natural triple jackpot. We've added to it again. It is now worth $8,800. How do you like that? That's just for extras. Good luck, John. You've got a long way to go. I know that, Bill. <laughs> Come on, John. He's got a great unlikely pairs. That's yeah. unlikely pairs. Well, there. Right. What he asks, would you like to do, John? Well, I guess I'm going to take unlikely pairs for... Take it out. 200, Bill? Exactly. 200 is that, the joker, and the unlikely pairs. To give you three of a kind. You're going for $200, and here's your question. One member of this unlikely pair is a silver-haired television actor named Lorne. The other is an intimidating pro football player nicknamed Mean Joe. Tell me their shared last name for $200 to tie it up. Green! You got it. It's yeah. all tied up. Hold <laughs> well on, John. Okay, Stephen. Spin away. Great. Come on, Joker. Stephen with 1301. How little will he go? Joker and all about languages. Well, now, what do you want to do, Stephen? Well, Bill, I believe I'll take all about languages for $100. You may do just that. Literally translated, this three-word French phrase means head-to-head. -head. It is used to describe a private conversation, usually between two people. For $100, what is this three-word French phrase? Tête-à-tête. Correct. You have it, and yeah. you have it. 
Another hundred bucks. We'll be back and pick up a good game in just a moment. Yes. Okay, 250 to 300. John, you're catching up. You ready to spin? I'm ready to spin. Bob. All right, here's John Ivanoff. Here we go. John, let's go. Joker's all the way. Let's American go. States, American States, and how low will you go? Well, what do you want to do there? Well, I'm going to take American States for 100, Bill. I don't blame you a bit. I'll give you three nicknames, John, and you name the American State to which they all refer. The nicknames are these. Seward's Folly, The Last Frontier, and... Russian, he's smiling, Russian America. For a hundred bucks, name the states. Alaska. Right? You got it again, yeah. John. You're up to... Oh, you're 350 now. Stephen, you're at three. Spin. Spin away, Stephen. Okay, come on, Jokers. Here's Stephen Spin. He got his Joker. All about languages. Joker. That puts you in a good spot. Well, now. Bill, I'll take all about languages for $200. You may do that with your two jokers up there, and that gives you, if you answer this question correctly, that gives you the game and total winnings of $1,800. That'll be your third game. If you miss it, you know John gets a crack at it, and he can win the game. Here's your question, Stephen, for the game, $1,800. For hundreds of years, the language of ancient Egypt could not be translated. However, in 1799, an engraved stone was found in the mud of the Nile River, which allowed scholars to translate this long-forgotten tongue. For $200, the game, a total of $1,800, by what name do historians know this special stone? The Rosetta Stone. Congratulations! Oh, right. Congratulations to you, Stephen. That was a good win. You have five hundred dollars. You won here, bringing your total winnings up to one thousand eight hundred bucks, and you're still playing that game. John Ivanov. John Ivanov, I, I want to thank you for being here. I, I know you're going to do well in your chosen profession because you do have one of those personalities. When you walk in, you just light a place up. Thank you, John, for being here. We have some nice. Thank you very much, John. Thank you, John. Well. Stephen Gale, three consecutive wins. You know what's next, don't you? Yes. Come on over. Going to give you a chance to play against the devil. Congratulations. Third shot. Okay. Third, third shot up here. And let's see, your total winning is $1,800. You must have won up here at one time. I've got no. Did you have you? No, I haven't won up here yet. The, the no. devils come up every time? Every time. I'm Maybe. sorry about that. Maybe this will be my lucky time here. Well, let's hope so. You have anyone with you? No, I couldn't get anybody to come here uh, in the audience today, unfortunately. They're all working. I have the same problem, Steve. I understand. Now, you know, if you get all the way through there and don't see the devil, you pick up all the big dough, the $1,000, in addition to this prize. Well, Stephen, with these gifts, you'll get the most out of barbecues in two different locales. First, Stephen, you'll barbecue in your, uh, barbecue in your own backyard on this great gas grill. Charbroil, mid-sized and portable gas barbecue grills for outdoor cooking. Constructed of weather-resistant aluminum and steel. Enjoy cookouts in your backyard or travels furnished by Charbroil. Then you'll sit down to enjoy the cookout at this patio dining set. From style at a solar strand indoor-outdoor chip-proof high-style quality dining set with the look, texture, and weight of natural wicker. Never needs painting furnished by Stylet. And second, Stephen, on vacation, well, you can ask them to slip a shrimp on the barbie because you're going to wonderful Australia. Enjoy seven wonderful days down under and take in the sights of Sydney Harbor on a special cruise, the land of koalas and kangaroos await you with unparalleled scenery and world-famous Aussie hospitality from travel programmers. Your round-trip flight to Australia will be on Continental Pacific with service daily to Sydney and to Melbourne, a better way to fly the Pacific from Continental. You'll have six nights at the new Hotel Intercontinental, Sydney, overlooking Sydney's Opera House and the Royal Botanic Gardens, uniquely designed to incorporate one of the city's most important landmarks, a harmonious blend of early and modern architecture. This barbecue's package is worth, in cash and prizes, exactly $4,600. Well, worth going for. It sure is. $4,600, and you know, I must tell you at this point, I didn't mention it earlier, but you may quit at any point. If you think the devil might be around the corner as he has lurked so far for you, you can stop and take the money to that point. Understood? I understand. I wish you luck. Ever been to Australia? Never. I'd love to go. The first time for everything. <laughs> go ahead, Stephen. Okay. Come first on, numbers. 
First spin. Stephen wants numbers. He has 100, 125, 150, and your first decision. I'll go. He's gone. He has 200 more. Oh. Well, you, you, it is possible that you might have stopped, but you would hardly stop after a $150 spin, would you? No, I wouldn't stop. Okay, it didn't work out that way, but I'll tell you what did work out, the way you're playing the game. You know, five consecutive games won, and you become you win automatically our automobile. You have three toward that, and 1800 bucks. And we'll be back in a moment with a new opponent for Stephen, but right now, we have a little bit of a word for you. Once again, Bill Cullen. Okay, Charlie, Stephen has three games and $1,800 in the bank. Well, why don't we show him another opponent? Well, Bill from Newport, Rhode Island, she's a film editor who enjoys bike racing and running marathons, Gail Rusetta. <laughs> Hello, Gail. Hi, Bill. Happy to have you. Newport is a lovely city. Yes, lovely it is. Lovely city indeed. How many marathons have you run, Gail? Five. Oh, that's pretty good. Have you finished them? Oh, yeah, of that, course. That's a, that's 130 some miles, is in our way. About 26 yeah. and a little each time. And you, you started and finished uh, five of them. Yeah, not all at once. But oh, not oh no, no. Not, not even in the same, not even in the same not week, the same I day. don't imagine. And a bicycle rider, too. Tell us about that. Yeah, I do more of that uh, than, I, than I run lately. I've been uh, racing. I've been in 100-mile races. But I really like to tour. And I've been all through New England. And going across country is the next, the next step. Well, that's very, that sounds like a lot of fun. Are you, are you married or spoken for or anything oh. like that? <laughs> no, but if I met somebody on the show, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. I haven't looked through the prizes we have yet, Gail, but if we... <laughs> we have some consolation prizes that I'm sure you wouldn't like to meet, but if okay. we find anything, I will let you know, okay? Okay, thank you. All right, then, we're all ready to go. <laughs> now, we have Gail, our new challenger, and Stephen, our champion, and here are the categories, folks, with which you'll be playing. They are the biggest and best... South America, TV comedy shows, famous Americans, and bid numbers. Uh, in bid numbers, you bid on how many questions you can answer. We'll talk about that when the time comes. So, Gail, right now, the natural triple jackpot, as you know, is worth $8,800. You can get three categories the same. Give us a start, Gail. Let's okay. see where you go. All right, let's go. <laughs> Marathon runner and bike racer. Let's see what. She has a joker. Biggest and best and another joker. Oh. Yes, ma'am. Well, I'll take the biggest and the best. For how much? Um, two hundred dollars. <laughs> okay. Here it is. On February twenty eighth, nineteen eighty three, over fifty percent of the people in the United States had their TV sets tuned to the same program. This record-breaking audience was watching the final episode of a long-running comedy series. For two hundred dollars, please, Gail, name this TV show. Mash. Mash is the right answer. Two hundred dollars is yours, and you're off to the lead. Very good. Stay to help you a little bit there. All right, Stephen. Let's see if you can catch her. Okay. Come on, Joker. Champion Stephen Gale. He has TV comedy, biggest and best, and the biggest and best again. Bill, I'll take the biggest and best for one hundred dollars. The largest member of the cat family lives throughout Asia, from the frigid Siberian plains to India's tropical jungles. Adult males average over 10 feet in length and weigh nearly 600 pounds. For $100, please, Stephen, name this fantastic feline. The tiger. Sure. Yeah. Exactly right. So you're both batting 100, and we'll be back and pick it up. We have a little word for you here. Okay, thank you. We're back, and you have the lead, 200 to 100. Spin away. Let's see what you get. Okay, let's see. Gail has South America Joker bid numbers. Which way do you want to go? Okay, I'd like to uh, take bid numbers for 100, please. Bid numbers for $100. Now, you can attempt to answer as many questions as you want at $100 a piece with a minimum of two. You must complete your bid. You know that. Any miss, and Stephen gets a shot to finish the bid for the money. So, how many do you want to bid? I'll take three. Three at $100 a piece. You must complete the bid in order to win. Question number one. Here we go. Journalists Hugh Downs and Barbara Walters were featured on this TV magazine show, which specialized in hard-hitting investigative reports and personality profiles. What is the numerical title of this show for your first answer? Time is up. Stephen, you can complete the bid. You have this one and two more to go for the 300 bucks. 
First of all, what's the numerical title of the show, Stephen? 2020. 2020 is right. That's one down for you. Hey, second. Second now of three. Almost everyone has played the game of checkers at one time or another. The question is, how many squares are contained on a standard checkerboard for your second complete bid? 64. Correct. You are yeah. two down. And yeah. you have one more to go for the, to complete the bid and win $300 to add to your total. Here we go. In 1961, the Disney Movie Studios released an animated film about a large group of Dalmatian dogs. According to the film's title, how many of these polka dot pooches were there for $300 and a complete bid? 101. Correct. You've got all that. Well, look what that did for you. You're up to 400 bucks, Stephen. Well, Gail, it was a good idea had you gotten that first 2020 question, but now you can still perhaps do it. Let's see what you do. Give okay. it. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Stephen is Stephen oh. Spin. So you're only $100 away from the win, Stephen. Go ahead. Whew. Come yeah. on, Jokers. I scared you more than the thing did. There's South America. You have a Joker, and you have famous Americans. And what are you going to do, Stephen? I will take... Uh Famous Americans for $100. Bro. And if you get that correctly, you will wa have won your fourth consecutive game. So you're going for a game win. Get ready. Here's the question for the game. This son of slave parents won international fame for his agricultural research. He revolutionized southern farming by advocating the planting of peanuts to help enrich the poor soil. For $100, the game and total winnings of $2,300 in cash, he is George Washington who? Carver. It's all yours, George Washington <laughs> Carver. $2,300. Yeah. John, uh, Stephen, you have not only been winning, but you've been winning quickly and handily. You play a very good game, and luck so far has been on your side. You have uh, four games. You're only one away from that automobile game and $2,300 in cash. Thank you, Stephen. <laughs> Gail, thank you. You ran into... You ran into terrible luck with that first question you missed, but I, I know you're going to find someone who's going to share your marathon running and your bicycle riding, and we have some nice consolation prizes. So Thank you. Thank you, Gail. <laughs> we'll be back at Joker's Wild. If you would please watch these messages. Good luck with your business. Well, Stephen, you've done, uh, well, as I said before, briefly touching on it, a remarkable job because you win the game not only not only handily, but quickly. I, the questions come well for you, and you do a pretty good job. Now, let's see, you have, uh, you earned $20 up to the time you <laughs> walked in here today and your gold prospecting. So far, in two days with us, you're 2300 bucks. so you're doing all right. <laughs> and you have, you have four games won, one more, and if you win another one, automatically you get that new automobile, and that's going to push your winnings way up there. So, you're, you're, all in all, you're doing pretty well. Now, they also tell me you have other interests, like astronomy, Yes, astronomy. And, and, and winemaking? Winemaking especially. I love winemaking. I think there's three marvelous hobbies. Uh, astronomy, that's is the stars, uh, winemaking, and gold prospecting. Which <laughs> You said you love winemaking. Why so? Well, I got into this at a very early age. I started experimenting in this at the age of 17. It's always fascinated me, trying to make a good wine, trying to make something interesting and different. You were, you were making it before you were old enough to drink it. Or, or, uh, well, yes. What do you work on, the white or the red? Uh... The white and the red, and I'm trying to make a potato wine. A potato wine? Yes, it's really bad so far, but uh, it will get better sooner or later. Well, if you drink enough of it, I guess it will become better with every swill as far as that goes. Uh, Stephen, we'll talk more about that. No samples or anything like that. Stay in your seat. See you next time on The Joker's Wild. Bye-bye. <laughs> We're out of here sewing machines for the National Joker Jackpot. It's the new home, Nuvo 2018 E-Machine. Make sewing easier than ever with its famous jam-proof top-loading hook system and super convenience features from the leader in innovation, the new home sewing machine company. And now the National Triple Jackpot is worth $9,350. Some of our departing contestants will receive some of the following. When Q-Tex Remover takes polish off, it locks in moisture so your nails get stronger every time you use it. Imagine. Super Juice Frozen Juice Bars are fresh, fruity, and super delicious. 
Ask Mary Lou Retton. Super Juice Frozen Juice Bars in five fruity flavors. And Daisy Chef Pot Junior Plus. Multi-purpose, fully immersible, non-stick cooker, fryer, steamer. Removable crock, thermostat control from Daisy. Jack Barry and Dan Enright Productions. Please.